In this video series, I'm going to walk you through the setup, calibration check, and field test of a hand arm vibration measurement using the Larson Davis HVM200. The Larson Davis HVM200 human vibration meter is a type 1 instrument designed for measuring vibration as perceived by human beings. It meets the requirements of ISO 5349-1. In this example, we are going to take a hand arm measurement using the ADP081A adapter. For this type of adapter, the SEN040F sensor is used. This comes with the necessary cable, CBL217, and we will be testing the calibration with a shaker. There are other sensor options for varying measurement types. What you need to know when choosing the type of sensor is where the vibration will enter the body. In this case, it will be the hand, so the handle adapter will be used. The first thing to do when you open your new HVM200 is insert the battery. This is powered by a rechargeable lithium battery. Next you will install the sensor to the cable and then the cable to the meter. Press the power button to turn the meter on. To control the meter, you can connect via USB to computer and then use the G4LD utility software or you can use the mobile app. Download the free app from Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Open the settings on your mobile device. The HVM200 will be a hotspot. The name will be the name of the device followed by the serial number. Connect. Then open the HVM200 app and select the instrument. You are now connected. To set up the measurement, go to the Tools menu. Then select Settings. You can see a hefty list of default vibration settings. We want the default setting for hand arm. So press and hold hand arm until the menu pops up. Or if you're on G4, double click. Select set to active. Now in the active setup, navigate to the right using the bottom arrow. There are three options for operation mode, vibration, hand arm, and whole body. Vibration is for general vibrations across frequencies. Hand, arm, and whole body add weightings from the standard for those measurement types. The store interval time is the duration of a sample. Samples are a span of data average for that time period. For this measurement, since it will be short, I am choosing one second samples. Click on the right arrow for the schedule. For this measurement, I want to only collect two minutes of the operator using the equipment, so I will set the run duration to two minutes. I like a delay at the start, which gives everyone time to set up. Then go to the miscellaneous tab. Check both of the OBA time histories. This is the frequency spectrum that you'll want for the vibration. The dB reference is the decimal place for the value, and the default values for exposure limit and action can remain as is. On the tools page, I've named my file compactor, since that's what I will be testing. In the following video, I will discuss how to put your sensor information in so that you can test your calibration. When finished, close and save your settings.